candles. I love fall. This is Radiant Red Maple from Bath & Body Works for anyone who's curious. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a book haul for you. Yes, I know when I started this channel I said there weren't going to be a lot of book hauls, but then I discovered this magical place called the Dollar Bookstore and yeah, I end up buying a lot of books. Sorry. So first off, there's three I ordered from Amazon this month. There's a fourth one, but it hasn't shipped yet. So I guess I'll start off with that one. Um, I ordered a copy of the illustrated um, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I will insert here. And um, I'm really excited to get my hands on it. It looks absolutely stunning and beautiful. I promise when I get it, I'll show you some more. But I'm sure it's all over YouTube at this point. Um, another book I picked up was Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I know everybody else has the different cover, but I actually really like this one. It feels very old world and it's got the beautiful raw binding and I just, I'm really excited to read it. And everybody just raves about this book. So I finally got my hands on it. So I will be reading it soon and I will be able to give you my thoughts at that point. And my cat's being creepy stalker today, so fair warning. And I also picked up The Halloween Tree by Ray Bradbury. I think I talked about it in my earlier haul, but I'm mentioning it again just in case. Um, it's an adorable little Halloween book. I think it's great. You could definitely read it with your kids. Nothing's too out there. Um, my husband couldn't get into it. He tried, but Ray Bradbury's writing style is a little bit hard for him, so we'll just kind of go from there. I also picked up the 10th anniversary of Twilight, which also had life and death in it. Um, I have a full review of life and death. I will link it down below in the description box and you can get my thoughts on all of it there, but I am just happy to have a um, hardback copy of Twilight finally because the rest of my Twilight collection is hardback, but only a paperback was around um, when I picked up Twilight, so. All right, let's dig into some more fun. All right, so this first one is called Dance With Me by Luann Rice. It looks like a total romance novel, but sometimes I just like a little romance in life. It's very fall colored. It just spoke to me. It was a dollar. It's about Jane Porter. Um, in Rhode Island, you know, lust memories and anyways, I'm excited to give it a try. I'll let you know my thoughts on it later. Um, then I picked up Weekend in Paris by Raman Sisman. Sisman? 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 I did not pay that for it. I only paid a dollar. But, um, anyways, it looks like it's this businesswoman who... Um, her boss asked her to go on a business trip, which business meant something different to him, and so it's kind of about her branching away from him and getting away and having her own weekend in Paris. And so I'm really excited to kind of see where this goes and how it goes. It doesn't look very long, so I think that'll be a really fun read. And then this one is called Come a Little Closer by Dorothy Garlock. And um, this one just looks like a World War II based romance. This is after the war. Um, it looks like she was a nurse, he was a soldier, very cliche sounding in the description, but I still look forward to it. <laughs> I will let you know what I think. And then I also picked up The Last Lecture by Randy Posh. And if you have not read this book, this book is phenomenal. It's just kind of about what this man learned through life and the experiences that he had. This is him on the back. And it's absolutely lovely. Um, I've actually watched um, some of his lectures and they're wonderful. So um, again, this is short. This is a Tuesdays with Maury feeling kind of book, but much more analytical. He was a scientist and it's absolutely lovely. Um, I highly recommend it if you have not read this. I picked this up just for me. I won't be reading it soon because I've I read it within the last couple of years and there's so many other things I need to read. But anyway, so that... Go read it if you haven't. And then last in this bag was Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks. Um, 
the movie came out just as I separated from my first husband. I um, went to this movie. I bawled my eyes out. I related to far too much in it. And um, I'd read the book electronically and loved it. So I decided to pick myself up a hard copy. Um, if you have not seen the movie or read the book, I highly recommend it. They're wonderful. I do prefer the book a little bit better. You get a little more detail, obviously, than the movie, but the movie is great. All right, book bag number two. All right, so I picked me up a copy of The Help by Katherine Stockett. I loved the movie so much. I still haven't gotten around to reading the book. I know, shame on me. So I finally picked myself up a copy so that I can get around to actually reading it. These next two books were my husband's books, but I'm still going to mention them. Um, this is the How to Do Just About Everything um, book. A lot of the things are universal in here and like how to know if someone is lying, how to compliment a man who catches your eye, or vice versa, how to clean grout without scrubbing, like it's got kind of everything in here. It's like an encyclopedia of how to do everything and he found that very interesting and picked it up and I'll probably flip through it and help me do some things I'm not so great at. And then last but not least, it's photography for dummies. My husband is dabbling more in his photography. Um, he's a wonder, he's got a wonderful eye for photography, but he wants to be able to get a little more artistic and do a little more with it. And so he decided to do this to get a little more familiar with photography in general and his camera. And I think it will be great for him. I want him to have this hobby. I love to take pictures as well. So not just selfies that you guys see a lot of um, if you follow me on Instagram, but I like to just take pictures in general. Um, I got the photography bug early, so I could always use a refresher on some things too. So I think this will be great for us to have. And later if we have kids, it'll be a great reference for them as well. So that is all for this haul. Um, it was a lot, but remember, outside of the first three books, or outside of the first four, if you include the Harry Potter one, I only paid a dollar for each of the other books. So I really didn't spend a lot of money. I'm sure there are lots of dollar bookstores around where you live or like a secondhand store where you can pick up books for cheaper. So I just want to put that out there. You don't have to spend a lot of money to own the books that you want. Um, you just sometimes have to be patient and wait a little bit. So anyways, have a great day. Um, remember to donate to your local library if you have books that you don't love and don't want to keep in your collection because local libraries always need books. Thanks. Have a great day.